So, welcome to the studio, guys. Today in the A studio, unfortunately, I got banned again from my new main studio, the B studio, with the vocal booth and everything, because there is right now someone recording something in there. And I also, the previous four or five hours, I had to record some Schlager in there. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. I, I just love just making my own music, which I do 99% of the time, but sometimes we have customers that rent a studio. So I was busy recording Schlager, German country music. It's really bad, but it's paying the bills sometimes. <laughs> so actually I plan actually on showing you the mixing of my new song, like a full tutorial on how I mix like the really nerdy kind of stuff. Since that's not possible and I do not have a lot of time left, I think we'll just do a track submit edition where you guys send me your songs, I listen to them, give you feedback as well as the entire community, and this way at least make something today that is music related. You see, it's now, what is it? 6.46 and I'm finally allowed back into my studio just basically to record the track submits and then back home and tomorrow, tomorrow finally I have like a full 10 to 12 hours here in the studio making music. So um, yeah, let's just get to the track submit. The very first one is by Wave Magnetic and the song is called Star Child. <laughs> To be honest, mixing is fine, kick is fine, the drums are kind of fine, but the sound selection and the styles kind of what bothers me a little. I mean, it says wave magnetic, blends electronic dance music with live trumpet. I don't know. I don't know if live trumpet, and it's played in a very kind of jazzy way, if it really fits to electronic music, it might actually fit to like old school deep house music that is very loungy or maybe to, to like classic house, diva vocal kind of house, maybe. But the drums have more trap feel, like the, the playing of the kick and then the snare. So it's like mixed together of very like different kinds of styles, which isn't necessarily bad, but I think in this case it doesn't create something that at least I personally and Enjoy that much. Maybe let me know in the comments if, if you like this blend of trap beats stylistically, samples more house, and then the live trumpet. I don't know, maybe if you make one track like this, it might maybe work, but if you only produce music that always follows these rules, electronic music and a live trumpet, it might be a lot of tiring, so um, maybe just try to make a song with, without the trumpet, because I actually like the mixing. I think someone made this that actually knows how to make music. I'm just not sure about the style. This one by Astrovis called Let It Be is, yeah, future bass. The mixing is like halfway there, still needs to learn better sound selection, snappier sounds, more compression, saturation, all of these finer details I'll explain in, in the video tomorrow where I have more time to actually go in depth of mixing. One thing that bothers me the most, is something that can be fixed very fast and that is just the volume of the song. It sits around like minus 17 dB RMS and 
you can just bump it up on the limiter. Just bump it up the threshold down and make it at least minus 10 dB RMS to send it out to other people so that you have at least a decent amount of loudness to play it to other people. Because comparing songs that are like way different in volume is really hard because usually most people like think and feel the louder the, the better and to some extent that's also true. Just don't exaggerate too much. There are some songs that have like minus 5 dB RMS. That's not really nice to listen to. Anyways, next up by Loopley, a song called Lizard Harmonics. I don't know what to expect. Not bad. I mean, it's, I think, side trance, progressive trance, something like in between. And yeah, it sounds very old school, especially with the bass line. It has a little bit of acid house, like an acid house bass line. I like it. I'm not like an expert when it comes to this kind of music. To me, most of it, excuse me if I'm saying that, most of it sounds a little like trashy and old schooly, but it's part of the sound aesthetic. People do it on purpose. I'm just not a big fan. I like to make everything sound as modern and snappy as possible. So um, yeah, it's cool. I like the vocal. There is a vocal in it. That is kind of cool. It's about lizards. So that's, that's explaining the cover and title. Next up, a Timo Costa with a song called Illusions. I like the build up, very good. The little piano bit right before the drop, I'm not sure about it. I expect like an epic synthesizer that just cuts through and stands there on its own. And then the drop. The piano sounds a little too standard, too piano, too lush, and doesn't fit into the entire track because everything else sounds modern electronic and then that pure piano. I don't know about that. Maybe just try out either like uh, one of these typical Nexus pianos. They sound a little more modern or really go for like a cutting edge synthesizer sound and then have to drop. The drop itself, balance, that's all right. Not sure about the low end though. It's uh, below 30 hertz. There's a little too much rumble. You can cut that actually and have more room for the rest. And the bass is like very distorted. I don't know if that's intended. It's for my taste a little too much. Maybe try like do multi-band distortion. Just distort the upper part of the bass and leave the lower part cleaner. Makes it a lot easier to mix. You don't get those distorted harmonics in the lows where you don't need them, just in the top part to make it audible on smaller speakers. So I think multi-band compression on the bass could actually work, like uh, have the bands like one below 100 hertz, one above 100 hertz, and do the distortion only above 100 hertz. And maybe even if you have, I think the isotope stuff does it, below 100 hertz mono with the imager. The last one for today by Felix called Volcano. This one isn't balanced that nicely and the sound selection isn't there yet. It, it says house, but I, I can't really tell what kind of style it is. Not saying that you need to go for a style. You can also make something entirely new and different, which is really, really, really like the best that could happen, but it's a lot harder than to make actually something good. I think, yeah, sound selection, different sounds. And there is there's something in the bass that doesn't belong there at 30 Hertz. You can see it in the analyzer. 
there's a big bump that shouldn't be there. That's like too low, too much, too low. And it just um, cuts away everything else in the mix. And it's really not needed. And it's, it's slow. Let me check like with the BPM counter. Yeah, it's around 97 BPM. That's very, very, very uncommon for house music. So I'm, I'm just assuming because on, on SoundCloud it says tropical house chill and maybe for tropical house you can pull off 110, 112, but 97, like you don't really get that four to the floor feel and that is so needed for these kinds of music. And for Tropical House, I would expect like a high kind of synthesizer that plays a tropical kind of melody. So it's it's kind of in between everything, which, um, yeah, you should reconsider different sounds, different tempo. Like if you listen to a song, it needs to tell you a story and like the style of it has to fit. It's like a movie. The movie has, I don't know, a war story. And then like the coloring and, and everything, the mood, the music, it has to fit to a war kind of music. And the first and the last song, they kind of mix in too many things. It would be like a, a war movie with a very bright sitcom-like coloring. It just throws you off. It's, it's, it's just a little weird. So when you make music, think about like making a movie or an Instagram post picture, make it fit to the mood, make it get fit to the story, make it fit to, to a style. I think that's really, really important. I'd say 99% of all labels on this planet, like the most important stuff for them is that it fits to the label, that it fits stylistically, that it's like the entire package kind of works. They don't mind if a song isn't mixed 100% they will more mind about the sound design being off, the style being off, the arrangement being off. So um, yeah, first get those things right before worrying about parallel compression and that kind of stuff. Anyways, I hope this video helped. I now have to, to leave. There is more that I have to take care of. I don't know what is happening at the moment, but very busy, especially like people renting the studio, which I actually don't like. I mean, yes, it makes money, but it's me having less time to make music. But tomorrow, tune in tomorrow, tomorrow I have a lot of time just making music. No one else is renting the studio. It's just me here and you guys. So sign up.